Okay, we made it to the spot. We came up from that hill up there. Um, anyway, now we're down here. Here. when we kind of get to a, to a spot. Yeah, so plan is Let's down. go down there. Okay, we're gonna drive down this road for a minute as far as we can in the, in the pickup. But anyway, see when we get there, I guess. Man, maybe be, be nice if we had our tripod for this because freaking downs all shaky using the using the too shaky this spawning scope can't yeah. hold it still enough. Can't you can't hold the spawning scope still? Did I get him? Did I get him? I see him. Oh yeah? He's way over there. What do you see up there? There's mountain goats. Is there? Yep. An elk. All the way up there, huh? Big horn sheep. It's all sorts of stuff up there. This is a pretty uh, eventful place. We see we see and hear a lot of things. So, oh wait, I gotta tell the plan. This is my plan. I don't know if it's gonna work, but this is my plan. So, all the hunters go up to this parking lot that's up here, and they're all coming into these canyons. And they all have their wind wrong. Ethan? <laughs> okay. You're the worst cameraman on this side of Mississippi. Quit. Sorry. See, it's okay, so they all have their wind wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chill. I don't mind, I'm just gonna go back to glassing. Okay. What do you see? I already told you. What? Elk. What kind? Or is there multiples? Big horned elk. Big horned elk? How big are their horns? Big. That's why they're called big horn dog. This guy, he's a scientist. He he knows big birds, eh? I bet you we could almost glass from the truck better, but that was so bad. That was so bad. That was great. I mean, but yeah, all the elk are gonna come running now. Yeah, cause you just scared them. No, they're gonna come running. No. So, uh, our glassing paid off. Found a cow. She looks like she's just at all by herself. Me and Ethan just spotted some elk over here on the other side of this canyon. And really, really nice six point in there. Super wide. But he's gonna stay up there on the glass. Watch him. I'm gonna make a stock in on him. I gotta. It's gonna be kind of a tricky, tricky deal, but hopefully we can get in on him. He's only got, I think, six or eight cows with him. So not a ton, ton of eyes, but we'll see how it goes. I'll get back to you when I head up the other side, getting closer. Me and D split up. I'm gonna be watching this and giving him hand signals because our walkie-talkies didn't want to work. So I'm gonna be watching for this bull and giving him hand signals of where he's at. And he's just gonna hike up on on up there. He's gonna try and film whatever he can. But um, for now, the plan is just I watch this bull and he hikes. I haven't seen him pop out of the trees yet. He's got. Heck of a hike. I mean, he's got to climb some elevation. This is why elk hunting, where I elk hunt, is not easy. The camera doesn't do it justice. It's so steep. And then, you get up here and you get to go through this. And it's still just as steep. But I can see Ethan. He's down there glassing me. I gotta just make my way through this crap, and then get up to an opening, and I should be kind of where I want to be. So. 
You might have a guess who I just found. Let's see if this dang thing will focus. There he is. Across the mountain. I just told him to go up and to the to the left or left of me and I guess right of him kind of thing, but Actually, I just told him to go to the right. That's what I meant. <laughs> but anyway, he's trekking along now, but these elk, they are not coming out anymore. Like, I'm looking, looking, looking. I cannot find them. But, anyway. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Faces passing. I'm homebound. Dude, I cannot find these elk again. I feel so bad. I'm only about a hundred yards away from where I last saw that bull from the other side of the canyon. I glassed down to Ethan and he's pointing this way, so I think that bull went up over this ridge. But I don't know, the wind is not good up here. It just keeps swirling and swirling, and so I haven't gone down in there yet. I'd like to see where that bull is, but I don't think I'm going to get a good enough vantage point to look. I don't want to go into this blindly very bad, so I don't know what to do. Okay, say goodbye to Dallin for the last time, I guess. If he's cutting over, he's going to be in the trees for now. But I cannot find these dang elk. I was just getting wind, so I heard a little noise. Anyway, whatever. Find him. Hopefully his wind isn't bad where he's going. I think he's got good wind. Oh, that's a warm wind on me. Wow, that's weird. Okay, see you guys in a minute. Please tell me you went up down. Please tell me you went up down. They all spooked. All of them ran right across the top of the ridge line. Where's that bull at? Where'd he go? I need to find one. My lenses. There he is. Where's Dallin? Where's Dallin? Where's Dallin? Where is he? Where is he? Where is Dallin? Where is Dallin? Gosh dang it, Dallin, where are you? Ball's getting away. I can't even see the ball anymore. Where is he? You even seen it on this? No, where the heck did he go? Where's that ball at? Man, I hope Dallin went straight up. Oh, there he is. There's that ball. There he is. Dallin calling to him right now. Oh, she's a big bull. Here he is, that huge bull. Just running off freaking stupid animal. I need to find Dallin and tell him to come back. Dropping out of here. Okay, well, found Dallin. We have to only come back. That was cool. I need him to come back. I need to just go after him. I can't decide. 
Come back. Come back. Come back. I think he's doing a thumbs up. I think he's doing a thumbs up again though. He's coming. Anyway, see you when you get here, D. Sadly, we didn't get that freaking bowl. That was a nice bowl. But he just took off. As soon as Dallin got into... Hey, let me show you, actually. So, I went clear to the top of the hill. And I found a dang good spot. Dang good. Like, I got over there. Elk was still bugling. I saw one bull. And he was a dandy. He was... I'd say a 340, 360 bull. I mean, he's big. And so I had him at about 150 yards, but it's steep going off the other side. And I think I can get to it a little better from if I were to drive the pickup around and then come up this little creek bottom that's over there. But I think that's that's gonna be the new number one spot. But I also wanted to show you guys this. This is so steep, big old drop off right here. If I were to fall. I ain't stopping until I hit the creek, but it was actually a lot easier coming down through the trees because I had stuff to grab onto and stuff, and now that I'm out in the open in the brush, it ain't all that easy, but I'll find my way down, I guess. At least try to. What's up, you guys? So, uh, we are packing up again because, so what happened was, Dallin went up this mountain. He went to the very top by the end of it, but anyway. <clears throat> so he kind of follows this up. He follows, I think, straight up this. This, this kind of path. Cuts over into the trees right here. I told him go up. So he goes up right here. The elk were all right here, which I didn't realize because there's a gap between where I saw him and then where I couldn't see him anymore. And they were up here. So Dallin's working his way along this tree line up through here. He gets up here. They spook. I see about uh, 11 cows. Uh, there's a lot. Uh, I don't know. Maybe seven cows. Not, not too many, but anyway, they all run across this ridge and then dip off the back side of this ridge. And then I was like, hey, where's the bull? Okay, so he comes out five minutes later. Bull comes out, sneaking along real slow. Just sneaks along, follows his cow's trail. They all dip off. I don't see them for 15 minutes. Then I see them again. <clears throat> they all pop out again. And I see them and then they pop down around. Anyway, about 30 minutes later, they ended up in these trees. So we missed it for today, but anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so it was pretty pretty eventful. That uh, we got. I got all the footage on the phone scope. So we should have it. But it was a very, what would you say, I don't know, eventful day, and uh, can't tell if Down's whistling to me or not. Anyway, so yeah, it was pretty good, but uh, that bull was huge, like, he was a big bull, it sucked to lose him, bigger than anything we've seen so far, so, anyway, okay, well, that's about all I have for you, see you when Down gets here. But anyway, see ya. But anyway, so what happened was is you uh you were going up that I think and they were all up there and I just see freaking 11, 11 cows just spook. I was like, oh no. Where, I, bet, I bet they winded me. The wind was yeah, so bad I was, that I was doing circles I was like, the whole time. He's so he has gotta be like three hundred yards away. There's no way, it's just gotta be wind. Anyway, so they winded you and the bull ran out maybe five minutes after. I got it all on video. Really? Uh, yeah, he, was yeah. that, he was that far after the cows? Yeah, he was pretty far after. I don't know. It may was a five, but... I thought... I don't know. So, I got up into those pines right there. Well, I got clear to the top, and then on the way back, I came down through the pines. Mm -hmm. And... That's where they were. Yeah. I saw I saw elk tracks going up over top of the ridge. Oh, oops. I saw elk tracks going up over top of the ridge, and so I was like, maybe that bull went up over the ridge. But while I was up there... I got up there and I was like, dang, there's this big old hole in all these freaking aspens that are turning all red and stuff. Like, the whole place was just red, not this yellow color. 
Really? And then I'm like, I can hear something raking down here. And so I bugled once. And that thing bugled back at me. And he was like, these, there were four down there just screaming. And he, the one I saw, I actually caught a pretty good glimpse of him at like 150 yards. And he was massive. He would have put this bull to shame. Like, really? I'm not kidding. That was, was a big bull. I got, you should see it on the videos, but I got yeah. pretty good videos of it. Actually, good, good. I'm gonna have to watch him when we yeah. get the truck. But dude, the whole video, phone scope video, in your clips. That's it. Did it get better I talk, as the I sun? Talk. Did it get better as the sun went up? Like, was uh, it as yeah. crazy? Yeah, it's got a lot better. Okay, let's go watch those videos. Yeah. Okay, what's up, you guys? So uh, the dealio is, we have left the spot. We, we met up. Dallin came down from the top. It took him like a half hour. I thought it was gonna take him a while, so I was sitting. Still at a glassing spot, so he had to walk up to me to find me. But anyway, I also have my AirPods in, just bumping tunes. But anyway, so uh, yeah, I could have been getting mauled by a bear and he wouldn't even have known. I wouldn't have cared. <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, uh, right now we're going back into town. Uh, I've got some stuff to do because I got homecoming, so I've got to get lunch. Yeah, I gotta get lunch too. But also, I got homecoming, so I gotta get ready for that tomorrow. But, uh, is it tomorrow or today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, it's the 11th. But anyway, so yeah, that'll be a good time. I'll, uh, we'll let, we'll let you know what else we do. Are you guys yeah. out for an evening hunt, probably? Probably not. I'm pooped. I climbed to like, what was 1,400 feet or something? Yeah. It was a long he, hike. He climbed a lot. Like, you, you probably. I see kind of how steep it was. I didn't get too many clips on this camera. The camera but, doesn't do it just. Oh, it, it does, was it so doesn't. steep. It, it's some steep stuff. Like I was like watching him and I was like, oh, that's pretty steep. And I go up to the side of the mountain. And I'm like, that's pretty steep. <laughs> like it was, it was up there. But anyway, so you'll see in the video the that bowl that ran off. But anyway, yeah. So that's the plan for now. Just going to town and get some lunch, and uh, we'll see. Try in the video off here. Yeah, this is probably yeah. be the end of the video because I'm not gonna do an evening hunt, and we've got plenty of footage for a video. So yeah, unless you have like a project later or something. Yeah. But so. anyway, if this is the end, I'll uh, see you guys later. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share uh, with all your friends. 